Well, first thing, uh, it implied that it came from outside the solar system because uh, uh, gravity cannot bind it to the sun. It was moving too fast for that. The cosmos delivered a mystery, and humanity responded with an astonishing covert action. And Space Force Interceptor reportedly made a secret move on the interstellar comet 3I Atlas, igniting a firestorm of intrigue that reached all the way to Houston's mission control centers. To put it mildly, this event is monumental. It looked as if there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun instead of the typical tail that we see behind comets away from the sun. It suggests that classified payloads, routinely carried by advanced rockets, might be more than just satellites. We're on the brink of revealing how this daring intercept attempt could expose secrets about alien chemistry, ancient alignments, and the urgent necessity of planetary defense. when two worlds collide. What exactly happened out there in the vast emptiness, miles above Earth? This question weighs heavily on the minds of scientists, military strategists, and even historians. Right now, as you consider this unfolding narrative, something truly extraordinary is rocketing through our solar system at over 150,000 miles per hour. This is 3I Atlas, a messenger from another star system carrying secrets from beyond our sun's influence. But here is where the story truly becomes wild. Multiple credible sources indicate that SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 specifically to intercept this cosmic visitor. This wasn't merely about observing a comet. This was about whether we were witnessing humanity's first genuine effort to reach across the vastness of interstellar space. Think about that for a moment. We're talking about active pursuit a chase after an object that has traveled unimaginable distances to arrive here, possibly holding clues to alien chemistry and the formation of other solar systems. The timing of this alleged intercept is perfect for generating intrigue. Three I Atlas appeared suddenly, and within an incredibly short period, rumors of a covert launch ignited. There was no official announcement, no press release, just a growing buzz about a rocket heading towards an object that, by all conventional understanding, should be impossible to catch. This is one of those facts that makes you wonder, you see, because the physics involved are mind-bending. This interstellar visitor is moving at such an incredible velocity that intercepting it with current technology should be utterly out of reach. Yet, somehow, somewhere deep within SpaceX's mission planning, it appears someone believed they could achieve the impossible. What many overlooked is the sheer audacity of such an attempt. It challenges our perceived limitations in space travel and planetary defense. And this leads to the truly explosive aspect of this story. Falcon 9 rockets routinely carry classified payloads for the United States Space Force. These aren't just everyday satellite deployments. We're talking about experimental technology, systems that are never announced to the public, operating under the veil of national security. Defense analysts are now posing a chilling question. Could this intercept have served a dual purpose, functioning as a Space Force test for planetary defense? Consider the implications. An interstellar object hurtling at impossible speeds presents the perfect target practice. How do you track something moving so fast? How do you establish communication with it? How do you even confirm if your signals are getting through? Some experts believe this could have been a dry run, not necessarily to destroy 3I Atlas, but to observe how such a rapidly moving interstellar body reacts to directed signals. We're talking about the potential use of lasers, particle beams, or even experimental communication arrays that remain entirely unknown to the public. The thing nobody tells you is the scale of the technological ambition required for such a test. But the scientific angle is even more mind-blowing. Multiple sources suggest the Falcon 9 might have carried microprobes, designed not to physically impact 3I Atlas, but to sample the dust in its coma, that glowing cloud of gas and debris trailing behind the comet like a cosmic tail. Why risk such a dangerous and expensive mission for mere dust samples? Because 3I Atlas could contain isotopic ratios never before observed in our solar system. We are talking about potential clues to alien chemistry, elements that formed around a different star under entirely different conditions, perhaps billions of years ago, Imagine holding a piece of matter from another star in your hand, with different atoms, different ratios, material older than Earth itself.
That's the dream of scientists. And perhaps, just perhaps, this mission was the first step toward making that dream a reality. The implications are staggering. If we could analyze interstellar material, we would unlock profound secrets about how other solar systems form. We might discover whether the building blocks of life are truly universal. We could even find evidence of processes that do not exist anywhere near our sun. This pursuit of knowledge, driven by an object from beyond, showcases humanity's insatiable curiosity. Yet, as if this wasn't enough, the mission aligns with something even stranger. Earth's magnetic field experienced a noticeable spike precisely when the Falcon 9's trajectory reportedly intersected with Atlas's path. Could this have been the electromagnetic signature of an experimental beam aimed at Atlas? Some kind of directed energy test that left invisible ripples in Earth's protective magnetic shield? The magnetosphere is incredibly sensitive to high energy events. If experimental technology was indeed fired toward an interstellar target, we would expect to see precisely this kind of signature. For the first time, an interstellar object may have left its fingerprint on Earth's own magnetic shield. That's not just fascinating, it's revolutionary. Many people are crazy about these anomalies, trying to discern if they are natural coincidences or direct results of the intercept attempt. The most shocking fact is that this connection is not just theoretical, it's observed data, pointing to an event of immense scale. But the story deepens beyond technology and physics. What if history holds clues to these interstellar visitors? The Sky Watchers of Old The story of 3 I Atlas takes an absolutely mind-bending turn when we consider ancient history. Researchers have discovered that 3 I Atlas's entry angle into our solar system nearly mirrors ancient solstice alignments found at sites like Machu Picchu in Peru and Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. We are talking about a level of precision that should not be possible by random chance. These aren't just any ancient sites. Machu Picchu's astronomical alignments track celestial events with mathematical perfection, while Gobekli Tepe, constructed over 11,000 years ago, features massive stone pillars that point to specific star patterns. And now, an interstellar visitor arrives, seemingly following the exact same geometric path. The coincidence becomes even stranger when you delve into historical texts. Biblical descriptions of wandering stars eerily resemble how Atlas cuts through the Mars-Jupiter resonance. Ancient astronomers wrote about bright objects that appeared suddenly, moved against the familiar star field, and then vanished forever. You can see this everywhere, from the meticulously carved stones to the cryptic texts passed down through generations. It is as if humanity has encountered visitors like this before and left warnings or records etched in stone. These were not random observations. Ancient civilizations dedicated immense resources to building massive monuments designed to track and remember these cosmic events. Picture this, ancient astronomer priests gazing skyward, meticulously recording the path of a bright, impossible star. They carved its trajectory into stone, aligned their sacred temples to its movement, and carefully passed down these stories through countless generations. Now, thousands of years later, our modern rockets may be chasing the very same type of visitor. What many overlooked is the consistency of these patterns across disparate cultures and immense spans of time. The thing nobody tells you is that this isn't just about believing in aliens. It's about re-evaluating the intelligence and observational prowess of our ancestors. This startling realization raises a terrifying possibility. What if interstellar objects like 3 I Atlas arrive on predictable cycles? What if ancient cultures knew something that we are only now rediscovering? The alignment data strongly suggests that these visits might not be random cosmic accidents. Some researchers even believe that ancient astronomical records could provide the key to predicting future interstellar arrivals. If true, it means we might have advanced warning systems already built into humanity's oldest monuments, waiting to be deciphered. Imagine the power of such knowledge, a cosmic calendar embedded in forgotten stones. The most shocking fact is that these ancient records might be more than just history. They could be a forgotten survival guide. This ancient wisdom, coupled with modern technology, presents a startling new frontier for understanding our universe and our place within it. But if this was merely history repeating itself, 
Why did scientists consider a desperate measure like firing the Juno-Jupiter probe straight at the answer? The long game of space defense. The answer to why scientists considered such an extreme measure reveals just how desperate the scientific community has become to capture an interstellar visitor. NASA researchers actually proposed redirecting Juno, the multi-million dollar probe currently on its mission orbiting Jupiter, to intercept 3I Atlas. This isn't speculation or a hypothetical scenario. The proposal exists in peer-reviewed scientific papers, a testament to the urgency of understanding these rare cosmic guests. Could the Falcon 9 mission have been a test run for precisely this kind of desperate maneuver? Perhaps the goal wasn't to physically reach Atlas, but to tag it with a CubeSat beacon, allowing telescopes worldwide to track it with unprecedented precision. You see, but not all things are what they seem. A direct intercept is incredibly difficult, but marking an object is a different challenge entirely. Think about the strategic implications here. You cannot physically catch something moving at 150,000 miles per hour with conventional rockets. But you could mark it. A small beacon, strategically deployed in Atlas's path, would create a permanent tracking signature. Every major telescope on Earth from the mountains of Chile to the observatories in Hawaii could then monitor this interstellar visitor with surgical accuracy. This level of persistent, precise tracking would be a game changer for understanding its trajectory, its composition, and any subtle changes in its behavior. What many overlooked is the elegant simplicity of such a solution, offering maximum data collection with minimal direct risk. This strategy could be humanity's silent acknowledgement of its current technological limits, while simultaneously pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Or this could be just the first, perhaps failed, attempt, with a second, more refined try already hidden within upcoming launches. SpaceX, for example, has numerous missions planned, including MAP Artemis supply missions and constant Starlink deployments. Any of these could potentially carry classified payloads specifically designed for interstellar intercept. The Juno proposal clearly proves that major space agencies are seriously considering redirecting existing, incredibly valuable missions for interstellar targets. If scientists are willing to sacrifice a billion-dollar Jupiter probe for this pursuit, why not test the waters first with a more readily available Falcon 9? This calculated risk-taking reveals a new, aggressive approach to deep space exploration and defense. The thing nobody tells you is that the future of space exploration might hinge on these covert, daring attempts. This is a clear indication that space agencies are operating with a heightened sense of urgency and a long-term strategy for engaging with the unknown. And here is where the stakes become intensely personal, extending far beyond scientific curiosity. Lessons from the Void If these intercept tests, whether direct or indirect, prove successful, it's not just about studying a distant comet. It is fundamentally about protecting Earth. Because the next interstellar object to visit our solar system could be on a direct collision course. We have been incredibly fortunate so far. Objects like Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas have all been harmless flybys. But interstellar space is a vast, unpredictable realm, filled with rogue planets, asteroid fragments, and objects we cannot even begin to imagine. When the next visitor arrives, perhaps at 200,000 miles per hour, heading directly towards Earth, we will need every single second of advanced warning we can possibly get. This is why the Space Force Interceptor's secret move on 3I Atlas is so critical. It represents a foundational step in establishing a robust interstellar defense playbook. A Falcon 9, reportedly aligned with 3I Atlas's path, combined with observed magnetosphere spikes and ancient alignments, all point to the same possibility. This was no ordinary launch. This was humanity's most serious and concerted attempt to engage with something from another star. Look at the compelling evidence we have uncovered. Earth's magnetosphere spiking during the exact intercept window. Ancient monuments mysteriously aligned with Atlas's trajectory. Military payloads launched with no public explanation and scientists openly proposing desperate measures to redirect billion dollar probes. These are not random coincidences. They are breadcrumbs, a trail leading to one inescapable conclusion. 
humanity just took its first serious shot at intercepting an interstellar visitor. And you can see this everywhere now, the growing recognition of this profound shift in our cosmic posture. But here's the unexpected twist. Even if the Falcon 9 mission ultimately failed in its primary objective of direct intercept or beacon deployment, the story does not end there. What happens next could fundamentally change how we prepare for visitors from beyond our solar system. We might have just witnessed the first chapter in humanity's interstellar defense playbook, a blueprint for future engagements. Think about what that truly means. For the first time in human history, we are not merely passive observers of cosmic visitors. We are actively, boldly, and strategically engaging with them. The implications ripple through every aspect of space science, Planetary defense gains an entirely new category of threats to track. Astrobiology could gain access to pristine samples from other star systems, offering unprecedented insights into extraterrestrial life's building blocks. Even archaeology might need to reconsider what ancient monuments were truly designed to observe. This moment represents a fundamental shift in humanity's relationship with the cosmos. We are no longer confined to our own solar system's resources and threats. We are now active players in the interstellar game. Did humanity's secret move change our destiny among the stars? The answers might be closer than you think. Like this video, subscribe for more cosmic revelations, and tell us. What do you believe happened out there?